Speaker, the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen of this Congress, honorable justices of the Supreme Court, members of my cabinet, distinguished guests, to the American people and to our friends around the world who are watching now, let me offer the clarity of my conviction. The White House The White House was where President Bridges lived, but it was not his home, nor is it my home now. It is the home of the presidency, the home of American democracy. And though President Bridges' agenda must be respected, my task is not to fulfill the legacy of a man. I have been entrusted with continuing the legacy of a nation and what is best in it, a nation whose magnificent and righteous history will govern its future. The cloud hangs over us. It's a cloud of mourning, of uncertainty. And though that cloud may cover the sun temporarily, it cannot extinguish it. That sun, like our freedom and democracy, will not go away. Resilience is what defines our character. And the character of any nation is judged not by its leaders, but by its people. The people, like that son, are what is constant. And so I say to the people of this nation, I am humbled by your greatness. I am humbled by the history being made here today, humbled by the notion that I am the first woman to hold this office. I'm humbled by the responsibilities that rest with me. I promise to vigorously defend our Constitution. I will recognize, as Harry Truman said, that the responsibility of a great state is to serve the world, not to dominate it. And it is clear that human rights is not an issue for just the free world, but it is nonetheless the responsibility of a free people. God knows you and I have shed tears these past days and more tears are to come but soon we must return to the future and I will do my best to take you there I am with you I ask this Congress I ask the court I ask my cabinet I ask the people of the United States to stand with me now unwavering for in this house united we will demonstrate our sovereignty of greatness. God bless Theodore Roosevelt Bridges. May his soul rest with the greatest of men. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Yeah.